that. Okay. All right. So what if you're doing some work and looking into uh, humanity's dark past, like slavery and uh, racism and stuff, or whatever darkness, how do you protect yourself from being traumatized? Uh, yes, I'm recording. Okay. First of all, um, you know, it, you know, one of this world is very, very easy to get programmed and traumatized by. Unfortunately, um, and when you give a lot of attention and you're reading stuff and you're trying to get into it, uh, to keep a good spiritual defense up while you're doing it can be done, but it's not going to be easy. Uh, I would, I mean, my general view is if you can avoid reading darkness um, and difficulty, uh, or at least going in deeply into it, I'd, um, I, I would avoid it, generally speaking, because um, not being helpful here, you might be a university professor or studying stuff, but, but there is a risk, you know, or how, if I had to do it, like, let's say my boss said, look, I want you to, um, uh, in, to give me a PhD thesis on torture and all the different types of torture and witness accounts of what they went through. I go, oh my goodness, you know, or you lose your job. Well, you know, in that case, I might feel that I have to do it. Uh, so, you know, like reading witness accounts of torture and, 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 and horror, horror, horror stories and the belief systems of, the, uh, of, of various people who like doing that. So I have to get into their mindset. I have to see what they believe. I have to see what the thing. So at the end of that, now how do I not get traumatized and how do I not get full of negative ideas and nightmares at the end of that? Well, it's it's difficult, but it's doable. I'd probably, I'd have to like, um, the observer going into within a, with a detached observer, if you're good at the observer, staying in the observer, not picking up data and programs, and getting into, into your own ego uh, or into your own emotional attachment to what you're reading and looking at and hearing is one way to give you a defense against picking up negative, uh, negative emotions and negative programs, getting traumatized by the material. Um, the other one is dose yourself up, cancel your belief in trauma, cancel your belief in, um, in human history, cancel your belief in all the things that would traumatize you, cancel them and place them into God's infinite light and love. You, you'll need as much protection of not hooking into that stuff and getting emotionally triggered by that stuff as you can. So doing a lot of prayer, a lot of um, clearing, a lot of canceling of beliefs, a lot of Course in Miracles work before you do it, while you're doing it. While you do it, you might be like reading a witness account of someone being traumatized and then say, instead of this, or instead of what I've read, I could see peace. I pray for a miracle to see this differently. I, I pray for a miracle to see the feelings coming up in me as I'm reading this stuff differently. So you want to be constantly bringing God into the equation to keep you safe and not allow you to get, you know, triggered and, and pick up a lot of belief systems around it. The other thing I've gone into, I don't know what my camera is doing, but never mind. Um, the other thing is to, I'll try and modify that. Uh, the other thing is then to um, do the observer, do the counseling beliefs, have small doses and take a spiritual break to spiritually top up, you know, make a few phone calls, read the Course in Miracles, read some Hawkins literature, feel, try and let go of all the stuff you just picked up and wash it out of your system go back for another small dose. So those are the things are, if you're feeling very disconnected or emotionally triggered, stop and emotionally reconnect and cancel anything you might've picked up. Uh, if you get uh, traumatized by the stuff you're doing, then um, I would actually stop doing it if you can and just take a long spiritual break to take out the feelings and cancel the beliefs around it. Otherwise, if you haven't cleared it fully by the time you go back, uh, you're just going to increase the repressed feelings and negative uh, programming uh, workload. So you'll actually be burying yourself. You might get a, a mental or physical breakdown at the end of it and, and be totally like uh, uh, disrupted by it. So that's what I would say with that. Oh, okay. And just going to quickly 